Hello, my name is Joachim Gomez and welcome to the Youth Action Challenge. Today, the doctor is in. In fact, we have 11 doctors to help our top 12 teams fine-tune their ideas. The consult clinic is part of the pre-accelerator stages before the summit happening 4th of April where teams vie for a chance at $50,000 in grants to put their projects into motion by the year 2025. So, it's time to find the best three consultants for their projects. Teams could choose to speak to up to three consultants from any of the four areas of domain expertise. They could draw on experts like Rachel Lim of fashion label Le Bonito for business development ideas. For marketing, they could tap on consultants like Sylvia Chan of Night Owl Cinematics. Advice on app development was provided by experts from Microsoft and City Fintech. And any team needing ideas on prototyping, user experience and user interface design were also served. What's most important is going to be how they're going to be able to tell the story, uh, win customers over on their side, and to know uh, who your audience is and speak in their lingo. Dreams, dreams, dreams. It's all that we have. Ambisense proposes to help people, the deaf users in particular, to detect environmental threats when you think about the kind of challenge that they're trying to solve. It's, it's a larger societal challenge that we have. The church gave us more clarity with regards to the various resources available to us, the various machine learning tools and platforms available for us to utilize. A lot of the technology today are becoming more and more intelligent. These are the kind of capabilities that they can infuse into the AI application itself. The amount of energy and the amount of desire to do good is simply infectious. The teams have had two hours to maximize the expertise of the three consultants they picked. So, did they pick the right ones and are they more equipped for the summit happening 4th of April? Let's find out. And you've spoken to loads of teams today and let's be honest, which team really impressed you the most today? The one that really, really, really finds traction with me is Eco Road. We've come up with a very interesting environmental suggestion how to generate electricity using heat differentials. Um, my personal favourite, um, it's really hard to choose, but I will have to say this project called uh, Kampan Uban. It's about building a community, it's about shining a light on the Singapore identity that, you know, sometimes can get lost in, you know, in the bustling and shuffling city. How can teams improve from here? consistently build on a story that you feel passionate about, that will allow you to relate to your customers so that they will be attracted to your product. Even as you try to fine-tune your presentation, your project, not to lose sight of the wider environment, because at the end of the day, the uh, idea is only as good as the applicability at a point in time. All right, so I'm here with advisory members. What is your biggest takeaway from the entire session today? Whatever you're doing, do it well and do it really, really, really well mm -hmm. because you don't want to be wasting people's time. We don't want to be wasting people's effort and support and money. And for us, we're really focused on that. You know, when we look at supporting schools and students, how are we doing that in the most impactful way? Teams have two more pre-accelerated sessions before the big summit happening on the 4th of April. Up next, a class on how to pitch their ideas clearly. I mean, they have to, if not $50,000 worth of grants, it goes up in smoke. So stay close to this space to see how our top 12 teams move closer to the final. My name is Joachim Gomez and this has been the Youth Action Challenge. It's time to make a stand. You've got the power to choose your favourite team and their cause. Vote and win at mewatch.sg slash YAC vote.